Yep, that's how it is. Got embalmed and preserved for millennia only to have some dumbass like me come in and take your soul and use it for like a fucking boot. Alright. Another white here. Take the garnet. Alright, what have we got? Ceremonial sword. I'll take it. Oh, look at this. Their feet fell off. And their hand. Ugh. One of their hands was on their shoulder. Maybe they were trying to rest their head on it. And the other one... They were, like, stroking it? When we had last left the last Dragonborn, they had traveled across all of Skyrim, back to some of their fantastic abodes, yes. Their homesteads hidden out in nooks and crannies amid the wildernesses, wildnesses, wilders, lands, where they decided to deposit and assign some folks to work there and become <gasps> dun, 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 stewards of the homestead. <laughs> And then they made their way up back to the far northern frozen reaches of Skyrim land where they met with none other than Karjo, amulet in hand after a big, wild, eventful bandit battle. And Karjo was so pleased and following the pleasure of... <laughs> Following the pleasuring of Karjo, they took back the amulet. <laughs> this is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Good lord. We will give Karjo back their amulet. <laughs> but first we need to put a fun little enchant on it, right? We need to do that. Give Karjo some added survivability. Why not? I'm hesitant to do any additional damage because you know what? I'm already dealing fuckloads. But let's make sure Karjo is like ultra durable. Let's see. Where is even an enchanting zone at? I don't know. Maybe up here in the Jarl zone? Let's take a quick look. I think I did a little bit of rudimentary inventory management, and by that, I think I actually mean not actually getting rid of anything, but buying more metal from the local blacksmith. Oh look, hey! Here's our enchanting table. Great. Alright. Hey, who I'm are you? I'm here to lend my magic to the people of Dawnstar. Oh yeah, I think we met you briefly? I had hoped life would be simpler here. But war seems to find a way of following me. Right. Yeah, you so, had that grim... you wish to master the arcane arts. That grim little talky-talk. Okay. What do you actually have? Do you have anything of value to me? Perhaps. Perhaps you... Oh, I spoke too soon. You really don't... Okay. <laughs> Should we buy some of their, like, gems and shit? Why not, right? Why, why not? Why, well, why not? Let's buy them. There we go. Let's get some petties, some lessers. How about some commons? Why not? There we go. Great. I sound like Toad. That museum is a mistake. <laughs> Good God. All right. Let's see. We want to throw some cool shit on Carjo's fun amulet. We will not rename it. I won't bother to waste any of my super enchanting stuff, though. Let's see. Oh, look. I can disenchant all this shit. Health regen and major haggling. Yeah, let's do it. There we go. There we are. Sorry, the love dog is having a party in the other room. <laughs> Apologies if you can hear the love dog. All right. Let's see. Over here. Moon amulet. Beautiful. And then let us apply. Fortify health. Good. And we can also apply resist magic. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Love it. Should we use a black soul gem? There's no quest where you need a black soul gem for anything, right? Right? Oh, is there though? Is there? When we get Azzy's star, is there? Is there? I don't know. Maybe we just play it safe. That said, it weighs one unit. It does weigh one unit. Let's get rid of it. We'll use up that unit. There'll be more black soul gems, I'm sure, right? There's no... We don't need a... We don't need that! There we go. Crafted it up. I did it. There we are. 
Uh, check it out, Carjo. I put someone's entire fucking soul and life inside of your amulet. I hope you don't mind. I hope that's not against any sort of, I don't know, moral or religious stance that you may or may not have. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. All right, yeah, I put someone's I soul in it. I'm sure burning. they were a bandit or something like that, or a necromancer, or some less than savory type, right? And of course, you know... People like that, they deserve it, right? They they don't deserve fair treatment or anything like that. <laughs> Jeez. You steal from you steal a stalk of or a stalk of a leak, and all of a sudden, you know what? You go inside of Carjo's moon amulet. That's <laughs> that's Skyrim justice. Oh, that's fucked up. There we go. Sorry, Carjo, I'm a fucking monster. There you go. <laughs> Kajit will follow. He loves it. He loves it. Carjo loves it. What's his health even at? I don't know. All right. Do we need to check back in on this dude? I think we already have the quest, You're right? Dumb as you look. Oh, I, I know. I've I'm even been in more dumb. Of Dawnstar for over 35 years. I'm so dumb. I think I said that twice. In fact, the servant of All right. Let's see. I believe it is, like I said, one of the quests here that we have to destroy a dragon. Yeah, kill the giant in Blizzard Rest. Ah. Ah. Oh shit, we need to go outside. Okay. All right, let's do it. We can chow down on some grub just as well. Do we have any salt on us? Can I rub some salt on some good shit? No, we don't. Fresh out of salt. Okay. Let's bring up our map of Roo. There we are, world map. What have we got? Oh, right, yeah, here. I need to... <laughs> I need to do this, right? <laughs> How do I do this again? Okay, search, and then blizz. There we go. Okay, how, how, do, how do I do it? Enter? <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, my God! It's a miracle! Oh! Wow, okay, we could approach this actually from Whiterun. Huh. But is it more fun if we approach it from up here? Ooh, you know, we should approach it from, from Whiterun, shouldn't we? Well... Yeah, let's approach it from Whiterun. And then we run up through the wilderness. We need to try and avoid the Hall of the Vigilant, because isn't that going to get us started on some... some shit with uh, Dawnguard? I can't remember how you begin Dawnguard. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe you started only at the, uh, at Fort Dawnguard itself. I can't recall. Nonetheless, we're going to try to avoid it, right? Same goes for Fort Dunstad. I don't know what it is, but with a name like Dunstad, you know it has to be good. No, bad. It has to be real bad. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a carriage out here? Do we have easy access to a carriage? I don't even recall. Okay, we have our wonderful Saturalia Moose Mabel. No, nothing? Okay, completely screwed in a major way. Let's see, there is the boat. But do I care for the boat? Do I care for it? Uh, I don't know. Man, you know what? Now I'm getting to a point where maybe I should just run through. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just go through the woods. Go through the frozen waste, you know? I thought it would be smart. Hey, half the trip will be in warmth, or at least a warmer area. Need something? Nah, we're just going big time major mistakes. Okay. Let's see here. Good. Directly south. Okay, look, it's even an exterior map marker. Oh shit, already we're cold. Can we warm up by the fire while on our moose? Let's see. No, I cannot. Oh, I can! <gasps> a warming moose. A moose warmer. Come, come and see what goods I own. I cannot, my good friend. I am here warming my moose by the fire. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? I like to have my moose close to the fire. I do. There we go. Okay. Moose away. There we are. Sorry, Carjo. You're going to have to get used to this. I. It's a one-seater only, you know. You may think that, hey, you could have a two-seater horse magoo or moose magoo, but no siree. Instead, you're you're gonna have to take the fucking road and level up your... <laughs> I almost said acrobatics. Your athletics. Hey, what is... What is that? What is that thing poking up over there? 
Is that Debella? I think that's Debella. Good lord. Oh shit, but I don't have time to dilly dally out here, right? We'll be back for that at a later date. Hopefully. Okay. Moose, away! There we go. Sorry, Karsha. I know you were hoping for warmer areas and, sh and shit, but we are just literally going through. Oh my gosh! Assassin land, apparently. Good god. Alright, look at this. Ah! Phew! No. <laughs> Gods, yes! Oh yeah! Oh shit! Ah! Boom! Gotcha! Ah! Boom! Gotcha again! Ah! Boom! Should we take their loot? Hell yeah, we should. All right, let's take a look at it. What have you got? What have you got? Let's see. Dark Brotherhood Assassin's Note. Oh, we know exactly what that's going to be about. Take all this. Good. Okay. Here, Carjo, you want some sort of cool dagger? You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. I mean, I guess it's I warmer than here. I will some of your burden. All right, here you go. How about, ooh, would you like a scimitar? That's kind of a cool look, huh? Are you... Karsho, are you like a swashbuckler? Because I'm kind of into that idea. We follow then. Are you buckling some swash here, Karsho? No? I think I think he prefers the dagger. Makes sense. Okay. Cool. Let's get on out of here. There we are. Mabel away! Out through the woods once more. Oh, look. There's some sort of fucked up wildlife... It's fine. We're just going to speed right along from that. Because we're starting to get pretty frigid, right? I don't want to have my health be too low by the time we finally reach the giant encampment. Right? Okay. Let's see. Let's avoid that. Let's go up here on the left. Oh, look. There's some ore. Oh, God. It's happening. I can't help myself. Okay. Let's see. Pickaxe. Beautiful. All right. Yep. <laughs> Dig into this. Oh shit. Let's do it a little bit quicker. Let's eat a leg of goat roast. Mmm. I do have some mud crab legs here that I can eat. Didn't I cook some up? Yeah, steamed mud crab legs. Oh. Alright, you know what? We're gonna hold off for now. I don't need it just yet. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Good. Back on Moose Mabel. Yep. There we are. Cool. Alright. Oh, jeez. Look, very cold. We're gaining altitude as well. I'm sure that's going to have some sort of effect just as well. It's no good. Okay. Trying to avoid that random cave right there just as well. Alright. The moose is losing juice. Alright. Oh, look. The giant encampment has been revealed on the dude dar. Ugh, can I jump that? No. Right, you can't sprint jump. Not even on a moose. Okay. I'm really leaning into the moose shit, aren't I? <laughs> I'm really... I, I just can't fucking stop now. I can't fucking stop. I, every time I'm like, Ooh, this is another opportunity to say I am in fact on a moose. Even though it's not. <laughs> Alright, quick save. Here it is. Beautiful. Okay. Look at that. A roaring fire. Perfect for me. Alright. What's up, giants? I'm here to fucking murder you. All right. Let's see. Oh shit. Not with that, I'm not. Okay. Quick save in case you send me into, like, fucking... Another plane of existence. Sorry, dude. Oh! Whoa! I jumped up and bashed his noggin in. I didn't know they had unique animations for the giants. Oh, shit. All right, let's rip off his fucking toe. Only had one, despite how it appears. Bunch of pelts, just as well. Should we take on a mammoth? Let's see. Fuck yeah, we should. Poor things. But you know what? I think I've got... Yeah, I've got a couple of grand soul gems with your names on them. All right. Sorry, pal. Oh, shit. Ugh! Yeah! Yeah! Fuck. They have such strength. Oh god. Oh god. Alright. Sucked him. Okay. Oh fuck. 
Oh, there we go. Good. Good. Two grand soul gems filled up. Oh shit, look! There's some sort of vicious saber cat. Oh look, cat fight. That's terrible. That's ter oh shit. Oh god. There we go. You like that? <laughs> oh, cat fight. It's racist and sexist. Two for one. <laughs> Let's see. Awful. Terrible. Let's see. Can we can we revive a giant? Hmm. Can we do this? Too powerful. Okay. But does that mean it's possible? Can we do it to a mammoth? Oh my god, I think we possibly could. If we had a more powerful version, right? Do we have a more powerful version? Let's see. Dread Zombie. <gasps> Revenant. Isn't that... No, wait. Expert has got to be... Yeah, that's got to be better than Adept, right? Novice, Apprentice, Adept, Expert, Master. Grandmaster, if it exists. Okay. Man, this massive roaring fire actually not helping at all. <laughs> okay. That's what I get for the, the cat fight comment, honestly. Very much deserved. Okay. Can I... Can I have some sort of restoration, please? No? Okay. I'm completely fucked. Okay. Let's see. Let's pick into this shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I'm a fool. Let's see here. Oh, gosh, no. All right, over here. Good. Okay. What have we got inside? Oh, orcish boots of shock suppression. Oh, okay. Neat. Let's just reach our hand in here and grab out a big slop of mammoth cheese. All musty and smelly. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> God, that is foul. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Down here. Did we loot the mammoths? Did we actually loot them both? I'm not sure. No, we did not. Let's take their snooter. There you go. Can I Can I scream at them? Wow, I can. I'm so powerful. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. I'm freezing my butt off. Okay. Let's see. Blizzard Rest. It's still not marked as cleared, though. Can it be marked? Have we not fully investigated this area? Is that the issue? Huh. What have I yet to investigate here? I thought I did a full clear. Perhaps not. Okay. Man, this is really not going to warm me up. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> okay. I was kind of counting on that, but all right, sure. Let's see, up and over here. Let's do a quick save just in case. Is there actually an upper echelon to this area? What is... What is up here? Huh. Okay. Oh. Okay, we can, we can Skyrim our way up these crags. Okay. Got a big head. Whole bunch of rocks. Jesus, there's nothing up here, is there? <laughs> there's nothing. Oh no. Oh no, oh dear. Oh, we're fucked. Okay. Let's see, what's nearby? There's something right there. What is that? Oh, it's White Run. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shit. We should probably head on down to White Run then. There's no way we can make it through this. Right? There we go. Let's get through this. Let's eat our legs as well. Our own legs. Oh, good God, it's come to this. <laughs> there we are. Good. Okay. And then get the axe back out at the ready. Oh, we can maybe just make it to this uh, windmill or whatever this is. Right? Maybe that's what it is. There's a windmill in front of Whiterun. Oh, God. Can I please get to the warm area? Jeez, I'm Pete. Oh, it's so fucking... Oh, wow, it's a real moose! Oh! Maybe I'm hallucinating out here from the frigid air. 
right? Instead of like a desert hallucination, I'm having a tundric hallucination. Oh shit. What's at this place? This nice little quaint mill. Oh no, is this the fucked up shit? I can't hardly make it out, I'm so fucking cold I can't see. Okay. Lorias Farm, discovered. Oh. The wonderful mill of power. Gordon here as well, eating some straw, I'm sure. Okay. Oh look, let's take all their shit. <laughs> Eat all this. Yum, yum, yum. Take all that. Oh, jeez. Hopefully Carjo survived. Because I could use some Carjo in my life right about now. Okay, Carjo, where are you at, dude? <laughs> Carjo, please! Please, Carjo! Oh, there you are. Oh, thank God. Alright. Can I... I'm afraid if I, like... Boom! Uh, uh, sorry! Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kashyyyk guards your back. All right, here we go. I will shoulder some of your burden. Great. All right, let's see. How about you take a little bit of corundum ore? There we go. And some of these hides. Good. Mammoth tusks as well. Don't we need that for house building? I think so. All Lead sorts on, of weird friend. shit that you need there. Okay, cool. Ugh. What else is at this farm? Free eggs, cows mooing around, a goat as well, intermingling with the, the cows. Grab some free wheat. Okay. Just some stranger from the woods has wandered into your farm and is taking your wheat. What's up, Vantus Lorias? Oh, for the love of Mara, what now? Oh, what's wrong? Is something wrong? Is something wrong? Is something wrong, he asks? Yes, something is bloody well wrong. Oh my god! Or maybe you missed the demented little man in the jester's garb down oh by the no. road. Goes by the name of Cicero. Crazy fools asked me to fix his broken wagon wheel five times. He won't take no for an answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Oh god. So what's the problem? I'm sure he'll pay you. Pay me? You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. A merry man? And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. Your eye? Can't have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma? Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Hmm, you have a point. What can I do to help? He's a stranger who needs assistance. Please do the right thing. Uh, what can I do to help? Fuck that guy. Well, there is something. <laughs> There's a guard patrols the road that crazy jester is on. He passes by pretty often. You could report the fool. You know, say he's done something against the law. That will at least get rid of him for me. What do you say? Okay, that's actually really fucked up. <laughs> that is... Alright, that's a bridge too far for me. I thought you wanted me to, like, try and kill him or something. But geez, alright. I won't condemn an innocent man. You bald asshole. <laughs> Fine, suit yourself. But you're wrong anyway. Just look at the fool. I don't know what <laughs> look it at is. the fool. He's damn well guilty of something. <laughs> oh god. Is this um is this important to Okay. I think hmm. Oh, I can convince Lorias. Huh. But we haven't done anything to get us involved with this organization yet, have we? You don't join by doing this, right? This is just an unrelated event, per chance, that you can come across, right? You need something? Talk to my husband. Vantus Lorius. Or just Lorius, if it's all the same to you. Okay. You need something? Talk to How my husband. How come you're not Kerway? Vantus Lorius. Or just Lorius, if it's all the same to you. I don't understand. Alright. She doesn't even have a surname at all. Okay, let's see. Should we grab some of these leaks and shit? I get, you know, not choosing to take his or whatever, but you don't even have one? How bizarre. The strange world of Skyrim. Not if it makes any sense. What's her last name? Who will never know? <laughs> There's a little man over here! 
<laughs> Good God. All right, should we sneak inside their farm? Maybe this will convince them, huh? What do you think, Carjo? We break and enter? Do a little breaking and entering? Let's see here. She's none the wiser. <laughs> oh, I can cook. Anything here? Shitloads of pelts. Heavy as hell. Look, my whole team just got in here. You'd think they would notice, but no. Oh god, did I just take some, like, garbage wine? Yeah, I did. Drinking it. Let's see. Pine thresh eggs. A potion of vigor fallen to the wayside. Snubberies. Salmon steak. Okay. A wardrobe filled with miner's boots. The woodcutter's wife. Okay. Songs of the return. Oh, uh, do I have these? Let's see. 2, 7, 56. Let's take a quick peek. Songs of the return. 2, 7, 56. 19 as well. I think that's all of them, in fact. Take some garlic. Let's see. Can I jump on top of their poop bucket? Ooh, I can take some of their salt just as well. Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. Can I... Oh. All right, there we go. Elves ear, great. Oh, hey, oh no, wait, it's cheese. Okay, a chicken's egg and a pine thrush egg. Shit has fallen into the basket. Okay. Oh look, they have a sword under their mantle, a steel sword under the, the mantle moose. Okay, let's take the rabbits as well. Good. All right, let's do a little cooking, huh? Mammoth steak, yeah, let's get that going. Wonderful. Okay. How about rabbit haunch? Good. Vegetable soup. Mm, we should do this. Look, if we get more leeks, we're golden. Beautiful. Okay. I'm not even sure if we really need that anymore now that we have our enchant on our weapon, right? It's certainly not high priority. It could come in handy, though, right? Certainly. Okay. You need something? Talk to my husband. Let's just take Vent all their fucking lawyers. leaks. <laughs> all, the all right. Sorry, need to cook some veg soup. You know how it is. All right. Should we take a couple of potatoes just for good measure? Now yeah, we'll take three. Of expanding the herb garden. Oh. Make room for some new plants I'm planning. That should be all right. How much space were you planning? Oh, half the field should do. Half the field? What could need half the field? I just think pollinating would be easier if I could do a lot of plants at once. Uh, why don't we talk about this later? <laughs> Jeez, yeah, half the field is a lot. Unless she plans to, like... Like, do you have a plan to actually take care of all that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a fucking lot. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let's cook all this up. Good. All right. Whew. Open Skyrim. My favorite gift. I thought we talked enough. Unless you've reconsidered my offer. That Cicero needs sorting. How do I convince this dude? Maybe I need to speak to this fool. This Cicero. This Merryman. Let's see. Let's do a quick save just in case things get a little ugly. Wow, look. A triple butterfly. Oh. Oh. Oh, great. Poor mother. She's been waiting here so long. Stupid farmer and his stupid tools. Why won't he help us? Good God. Poor mother. She's been waiting here so long. Stupid farmer and his stupid tools. Why won't he help us? Poor mother. She's been <laughs> he just, he so never long. stops. Stupid he never father, stops. Tools. Why, won't he, Why won't he help us? Good God. One more for the road. Poor mother. Poor she's mother. Been here so long. Stupid, stupid farmer and his stupid, stupid tools. Why, Why won't he help us? Love it. All right. Let's see. Can we talk to him? We can't reason with this fool. He's a fool. 
What's up, Lorius? Lorius? I forgot. I thought we talked enough. Unless you've reconsidered my offer. That Cicero needs sorting. Let's see. You know you should help him. Look, I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Hey! <laughs> fellow might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away, what kind of a man am I, huh? Look, um, thanks. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. Great. Okay. A look. Okay, here we go. Hey, dude. Guess what? He's gonna help you with your... Poor mother! Her new home seems so very far. <laughs> you know, I do I do actually like it. It's, it's very endearing, right? Poor mother! Her new home seems so very far. <laughs> All right. Hey, I talked to Lor Lorius. Lorius, he's agreed to fix your wagon wheel. You, you did? He has? Oh, stranger. You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant and ecstatic, but more, even more. My mother thanks you. Here, here oh. for your troubles. Shining, clink gold a few coins for your kind deed and thank you thank you again <laughs> huh okay neat you know what in my um my very first playthrough where i played the game for like a million fucking years i never came down this road and encountered this dude i had no idea that he was out here this whole fucking time for whatever reason, I never went north of Whiterun. Like, I went everywhere else around this area, but I never went up here. Right. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more, like, random-ass dungeons in the middle of nowhere that I'll have never have seen for this playthrough, right? I'm sure they exist. Doesn't old Cicero seem like he's from a different fucking game, given, like, you know, the get-up and the, the like, ultra-animated voice acting that... You know, Skyrim's kind of like character model animations kind of fail, <laughs> right? They can't quite, they can't quite animate with such exuberance, right? All of your line deliveries have to be a little bit more on the pacified stoic side if you want the, the animation to really match up, right? And I, you have to imagine that they directed them as such, right? It, it feels almost uh, Oblivion, right? Because that was such a frequent thing that occurred in Oblivion is like these really wild-ass deliveries for the... Oh, my God. For the animation to just kind of really fail it in a major way. Look, there's some people out here. What are you guys doing? You guys killed this mammoth out here? Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> Why would you kill a mammoth? I'm not backing off. I'm backing on. <laughs> that's a shirtless man. What are you all... Warning you. Poacher. Back off. You picked a bad oh. time to get lost, friend. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Get him! Uh, kill the shirtless man! Oh, wow. This. How come this shirtless man is, like, powerful as hell? Okay. Jeez. Yeah, she was wearing, like, full armor. But the shirtless man? Jesus. Okay. A meat pie. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever seen such a thing. I'll take it. All right. Should I take the dwarven dagger just as well? Nah. Yeah. Uh, I will. Okay. <laughs> all right. Poacher. Yep. Take your money. Jeez, look at all these heads over here. Gosh. Poor mammoths. Who's doing all this? <laughs> I'm awful. <laughs> Why am I so bad today? I'm such a bad person today. What the fuck? Someone stop me. Jeez. Let's see. Anything else? Yep. Shitloads of heads. Anything else? You know what? Cicero reminds me of a fucking NPC from like... Dragon's Dogma. Or some shit, right? Maybe that's closer than the Oblivion comparison, right? Maybe. Huh. 
Yeah. Dragon's Dogma. Definitely something we need to play at some point, right? Certainly. Especially with the, uh, that rumination or leak or whatever, that there is, in fact, a sequel finally on the way. Pretty cool. All right. Let's head on back up to Dawnstar, huh? Let's do it. Let's see. Do we have our moose? Is our moose here at the ready? No. Poor Karjo. Karjo is always, like, sniffling and snuffling or something, right? Is that the idea that uh, Khajiit are prone to catching colds or whatever in this environment? Maybe? Oh, look. Looked like that would totally be some sort of dungeon entrance. <laughs> but it ain't! All right. Let's see. Jeez. Where am I even going? I guess we can run up here. And then head this way? Yeah, let's just go north. Shit. Alright. Oh, look at all this. Shit, maybe we should have gone all the way down to Whiterun and just taken the carriage, right? <laughs> maybe that would have been smarter. Okay, you know what? F it, we're going through all this. What even is this? We've been to this, right? Yeah, on our way up to the Lordstone. Volrund. Volrund. Oh, look, is this a little... Talos Shrine? Oh no, it's a dungeon. Oh my god. Okay. Should we go inside and do it? Is there a quest involving this area? I don't think so. I don't know them all. <laughs> Let's go inside. Fuck it. Let's go in. I'm curious now. I want to see. Let's do it. Look, we've got Karjo. He's got plenty of carry weight for us to make use of. Let's do it. Come on, Karjo. Let's have a... <laughs> Look at Karjo go! He can fly! He never unlearned levitate. What a guy. What a champ. Let's see here, Karjo. Got your back. There we are. I will shoulder some of your burden. Thank you. There we are. How about we get rid of some of these dual daggers? Let's see, any of this shit? Yeah, the orcish boots of shock, supp shock suppression. There we are. Cave bear pelt. Anything else? A saber cat pelt. Good. Let's deposit all of our alchemical ingredients just as well. Carry some of this shit around, Karjo, if you don't mind. There we are. Could we have actually put carry weight on a necklace? I don't think so, right? It's gloves, shoes. Well, maybe necklaces too. Yeah, maybe maybe jewelry as well. We follow shit, them. I don't know. All right. Let's head on in. It's Volrund. Or Volunrud. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, Karjo. You gotta get used to this. I'm really dumb. An ancient Nord battle axe. Oh, this. Hedic. Oh, fuck! Whoa! Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, shit! <laughs> Karjo, I thought that was you. I don't know why I did, but I thought that was you for some reason. <laughs> Jeez! What the hell? What a scary place! Head dick. Head dick? Volunar? A paralysis poison recipe. Okay. What were you writing about, head dick? Ooh. Silence tongue started. Locate the ceremonial weapons. Ooh, cool. I was skeptical, but it's obvious now. The old hymns had truth to them. The relief wasn't far from the entrance, just as they said. I've no doubt now that it hides the entrance to Knievel, <laughs> Knievel's tomb, evil Knievel's, to Kavanel's tomb. The two keys must be hidden somewhere nearby. Ceremonial replicas of Oaken and Edage favored weapons when Kavanel went into battle. I don't dare explore further without hiring bodyguards to accompany me, however. To think, the Tongue Chieftain, Kavanel, could be entombed behind just a few feet of stone. The ancestor we scarcely believed was real. Twice damned for planning this foolish scouting trip, I should have hired those cell swords in the first place. Perhaps there's no need. This place is just a tomb, after all. Come on! <laughs> For real? In the, in the world of the Elder Scrolls? It's just a tomb. I'm sure it's safe. <laughs> and there are no obvious signs of habitation. It isn't as though the thousand-year dead will mind if I have a look around. 
You idiot, don't you know where you live? What are you talking about? Of course they're gonna mind, come on. Jeez, people should be, should all know that there's like skeletons and zombies and shit. What are you talking about? Come on, head dick. No wonder that's your name. You are a dickhead, head dick. What a fucking, what a chump. What a guy. What a fool. Good God. Oh gosh, look at this. It is a little intimidating looking. All right, should we do our usual method? Start from the left, go clockwise? Hell yeah, let's do it. All right, what's over here? Let's do a quick save because this looks actually pretty deadly. Oh, it's some sort of weird pit. Okay. What's over here? A wooden door? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Should we track this quest? Yeah. Silence tongues. I may be able to recover two ceremonial weapons within Volunrood, which will allow me to enter the Elder's Cairn. The Elder's Cairn? What is the Elder's Cairn? That sounds like... No, I'm thinking of the Soul Cairn, aren't I? What is the Elder's Cairn? Man, we were just talking about dungeons I've never been in. Hey! <laughs> Shit, guess what else around this area of Skyrim I haven't been inside of? This fucking place, I guess! Alright, take all this shit. Let's see, what's over here? Some little cubby holes. Stick some snacks and cuppy cakes inside of that. Storm for let for later. Okay, what's over here? Up, on, up and around on the left. Oh, look! Iron ore on the ground! Oh, don't mind if I do! <laughs> There we go. Let's actually eat some food, though. Let's eat a... Yeah, let's eat one of these snooters. There we go. Good. Did I get it? Yeah, okay. Good. Great. Oh, all right. Up and over here. All clear. Pew! Oh, look. Some sleeping dudes. Yeah! Jeez, Stray Dog, you, like, shoved me right into its bod. Yep, there we are. If anything, we should be sneaking around here, get some sneak XP, right? These things are so easy to sneak up on. Get some bone meal. All right. Let's continue in a bit deeper here. Oh, no, it's a Zombo, dude. Yep. There we go. Get him. Boom. Great. Money. Anything else around here? Oh, shit. How many of these soul trap gems have I got at this point? I know we bought some, but was it really that many? I guess so. Oh. Stop that shit, please. There we go. Let's heal up a bit just as well. Oh, when we get the magic back. Oh, look. A cool hat. Love it. Oh shit, this might be the path to travel, right? Look at this. Heading in kind of deep here. Where'd the other bod go to? Eh, we'll never know. Alright, let's turn this on. Oh shit! This is it then! Okay. Woo! <laughs> Not this time! Alright. Jeez, everyone's stepping on shit. Okay, I hope it doesn't do anything bad to me. Double Death Lords, huh? Okay. What's happening? I can hear a whole bunch of, like, metal doing shit. Wow, look. The health differential here is immense. This guy's actually taking a fucking beating from me. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's what those two... <laughs> Alright, get him, Carjo! Let's see, should I... Should I take this? Yeah, the value to weight ratio is through the roof. Let's take it. Oh! <laughs> Karsha, where'd that death dealer or whatever go? Where did they go? Ooh, they're screaming at us. Get back here and face me like a true son or daughter of Skyrim. Eat a butt. There we go. Ugh. There you are. Fart on you. Ah, an ebony war axe. All right. Here, Carjo, check it you out. You're taking us somewhere warm, I trust. I will shoulder some of your burden. Carjo, this place is pretty warm, I think. Ebony bow. 
Ooh, shit. Okay, Carjo, you are fucking loaded up. Let's see. Let's take that back from you. Take the Ebony War Axe. Good. I'll take the Steel Mace back as well. Good. Okay. We, we can drop some of that shit, right? We don't need a Steel Mace or a Hunting Bow. Follow that. F that. Okay. Head on down. Yep. Yep. Get through here. Yep. Can Stray Dog die? Or can Stray Dog only die by my hand? As is the case with uh, most everybody, right? Probably. Probably Stray Dog is totally fine. Alright. Because it would break my heart if I accidentally killed Stray Dog at this point. <laughs> it doesn't even have a name, but it's going to make me pretty sad if I accidentally kill this fucking dog. Alright. Turn this on. Whoops. Turn this on. There we go. <laughs> That's the one. Alright. Let's see. Here, what have we got? Ceremonial axe. Look at that. So cool they put it up sideways. Cool. Mace etiquette. This book. Okay, we'll take it. I'm not sure if we've read that one though. May have done. Alright, what's this? Oh, this is a this is a puzzle unit. Huh, weird. Okay. What's it mean though? Nothing. I think it's just for design. They hope that no one noticed that uh, it was used in the puzzles, right? Fair enough. All right. Let's see. Hup. Up and over. Just some ingenuity on behalf of the uh, dungeon designer, right? Making use of what they got. Good lord. Yeah, I forgot. These cubby holes are not for cupcakes. They're actually for fucking people. <laughs> Quite the uh, far cry from cupcakes. Okay. Rough. It's going up over here. Oh. Yep. There we go. Okay. Cool. So there's one more of these things that we need, huh? Neat. Look at this. Being smart. Casting my muffle. Oh, look. Does this go to something? Is there, like, a fun treasure over here? No, but I feel amazing for having stood on it. Oh, look at me go. Oh, there I am. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> That's that's some fun. That we we just had some fun there. <laughs> Come on, let's have a little bit of fun. Stand on a platform protruding from the wall. <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Let's see. Oh God! Huh, huh, the bones. Okay. <laughs> let's see. What does this go to? Oh, this is what we need the shit for, huh? This is it. Troll fat here too. Salt pile. An orcish shield. Embalming tool. Okay. Is there anything underneath the shield? Nah. Alright, fair dues. Let's see. Elder Cairn's door. Oh, I see. Alright. Let's run on over this way. So we have to save that one for last. Is this a physicsable op? No, that's a root. Okay. Fair enough. Over in here. Hey, I can hear you, dickheads. Ugh. Relatives of head dick. No less, I imagine. Let's see, can I boost my way over? Whoa. Boost! Oh, shit! Oh, I'm caught on shit! I made it up, though. There we are. Oh, there's a secret back passage. Alright. Wow, I killed that man through this other one. Okay. Oh, shit! Oh! It's a frosty Frodo! Okay. Can I heal up? Oh god, Stray Dog is getting ah. fucked up. Okay, it's point blank AoE is quite rough. There we are. Good. Got him. Is this thing not summoned? This is just a real fucking dude. Oh shit, sorry Carjo, I soul trapped you. <laughs> Watch out Carjo, I'm gonna put you in an amulet. <laughs> oh god. Oh look. There we are. Whew. Oh shit, it was a summoned one. Okay. But did you notice it's point blank AoE frost damage was actually making my one extra point regen stam irrelevant, right? Or not regen, but you know, on hit. Okay. Let's see. Draugr, what have you got? Anything good? Eh, it doesn't seem like it. Jeez, that shit keeps going off. That's a little disconcerting. Alright. Glass bow here? 
I'll take it. Okay. Is there anything I can fucking get rid of, though? <laughs> I got a, got a bit much here. Let's see. What do we have that we can ditch? This fucking ceremonial, monolonial axe. It's no good. Hmm. Iron ore? Eh, I can't get rid of that. Maybe we can trade some stuff with Karjo. Oh, an amulet of Stendar. Okay. Bone meal as well. Turn on the light. Let's do a quick save. Hey, Karjo, you want another one of these? Us somewhere warm, I, I will shoulder some of your burden. Let's see, I'll take your shield. And then... Won't that make him dual wield? Right? Nope. Still prefers the one. Leave. Okay. Sorry, Karjo. I know you prefer the sword and board, but... Well, we need to make some room. Here we go. Unfriend. I gave you a necklace. It, sh it should be enough. <laughs> Just block with the necklace. Okay. Anything over here? Hmm. Ooh, a head. I can't... I can kick it? No, I can't kick it either. It's a powerful head. Can I scream at the head? Poof! Wow, it's so powerful! Okay. What's over here? Oh, this is the trap zone. Okay. Let's do a quick save in case someone kills me. Like myself. Alright, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Ooh, car show. Jesus. Oop. Going through that. Okay, so we need to go... This way? No, that goes up. We need to go over this way. Okay. Turn this on. Shoo! Power myself up here. Do we expect any more ads? Oh, look, there's an upper area. Okay. Oh, look, a fun head. Ancient Nord helmet. Hey, this guy's gonna come to life, huh? You're one of them. Yeah, look at you. Okay. Oh. Ew! What have you got? Garbo. We could get that, um, what do you call it item for Karjo? The... Oh shit, what is it? The Orcish shield. I bet he'd enjoy that. Okay. Anything else? I think we're good. Oh, I can actually take this skull. Yep. Whoa! Nailed it. Oh, God, look. The head zone is here. Look at all this shit that they shoved inside this little room. Oh! Oh, double down! Got you? Let's see. Steal your soul. Oh, fuck. Yep, that's how it is. Got embalmed and preserved for millennia only to have some dumbass like me come in and take your soul and use it for like a fucking boot. Alright. Another white here. Take the garnet. Alright, what have we got? Ceremonial sword. I'll take it. Ah, oh, look at this. Their feet fell off. And their hand. Ugh. One of their hands was on their shoulder. Maybe they were trying to rest their head on it. And the other one... They were, like, stroking it? Yeah, wow! They were just having some fun there. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Why not? Let's get on down here, and let's see. So this is, yeah, there's the trap. So we need to go oh, over this way. Good. Love it. All right. <sighs> Well, holy shit, you know what? Maybe when next we come back, we will travel into the Elder's Cairn right here. Let's also give Karjo this cool shield. If, if he survives! <laughs> if he can survive the murder gauntlet, will Karjo come out on the other side with an orcish shield? Nope, he's dead. Karjo, what happened? Did you really die? No. Okay. I don't think he can die from that. All right. Here, Karjo. Look. You are taking us somewhere warm. I will shoulder some of your burden. Let's see. Take this cool shield here. Oh, he can't. Okay. Well, shit. 
Ay, ay, ay. What should we take? Let's take the scimitar, and then we'll give you the shield. There we go. Beautiful. Khajiit will follow. Can I... Oh, shit. I'm so encumbered. Okay. <laughs> it ain't good. All right. Let's see. What can we do? We could apply some, like, poison, but aren't Draugr, like, immune to it? I think they are. Well, we need to eat. What do we have that's heavy? Oh, a snoot! Eat a snoot. There we go. Perfect. Now we can move. All right. When next we come back, we will set foot inside of the Elder's Cairn. What waits behind this door? What did Head Dick want to see? Who knows? For now, if you'd like to stay around and hang out and chill out, we will be doing a little bit of reading. And what are we reading this time? But I believe Dwemer Inquiries Volume 2. Ooh, it's in the book section. <laughs> Let's see. What all else do we have here? Consult my list. Dwemer Inquiries, Volume 2. Yes, indeed. Okay. There we are. Dwemer Inquiries, Volume 2. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink. Sorry about this. Dwemer Inquiries, Volume 2. Their Architecture and Civilization. By... Selway Jalain, Galine, 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 Scholar. You've zapped shots, yep, hints, yet, yep, yep, yet, yep, what, yep, your ship, rip. The written, the limited written record supports the perception of the deep elves as culturally revering the pursuits of logic and science. This stands in stark contrast to the belief system of most other Mer cultures. When we imagine a society structured around such a central ideology, it seems reasonable that prolific scholars, especially in fields such as mathematics, metallurgy, or architecture, would be elevated to social status like that of clergy in a more mystically inclined culture. The idea is supported by a fragment of Dwemeri. Dwemeri? I guess you still, yeah, you don't say the S by a fragment of Dwemeri text recovered from a colony in Skyrim, Urkenkhand, which I believe to be associated with the clan Rorkin. The original Dwemeri and my translation follow. To raise granted cousin Kulek of privilege with duties for family home, building Hoagen, Kultura tradition, to Father Mundus Shaper. Some scholars interpret this as evidence of Dwemer worship of Mundus, but I do not agree. My translation of this passage suggests that a respected Dwemer by the name of Kualek was promoted to a civic position, probably tonal architect. Mm. The latter half of the fragment suggests that Kualek's position requires him to build in a specific style. The term Huagen, Huogen, Huagen, Kultura has thus far eluded me. But I believe it may be this the name of such a style. It's possible there were several styles differing in their construction principles and typical structures. One earmark of what I believe was the prevalent Dwemer style among northern clans was a feature I call the Deep Venue. Deep venues are often characterized as being made up of one or more expansive natural caverns in which several other structures will occur. Structures within the venue may be carved from the stone itself or freely erected upon the, ca the cavern floor. The largest and most impressive venues, such as that found in Bethardums, may even feature roads wide enough for ten large men to walk shoulder meet shoulder along it. Arcanics are typically smaller structures. Very few have been properly studied before disruption by grave robbers or greedy adventurers. But those few undisturbed sites have contained a surprising collection of magical objects, such as soul gems, 
alchemical concoctions, and magical texts. Some scholars take these as evidence that the Dwemer did, in fact, dabble in the magical arts. Based on what we know of their culture, as well as the fact that most Arcanix are minor structures compared to other common fixtures, I would suggest that these were centers of study and nothing more. Yeah, isn't it... Did, do they not consider using soul gems and soul magic and all that stuff to be magic? Because certainly, like, a lot of their constructs make use of soul gems, right? Or have them included. Is, do they, is that not considered magic? Hmm. And of course, you get into the... The, uh, what, what's it called? The, the, like, the line or whatever it's called, like, um, as you study something more and more, it, like, when you don't know a lot about something, or what, no, no, how's the line go again? It's, um, magic is just a science that you don't fully understand yet or something, something, something to that effect. It's like, um. There is no, the greater one does not know of a high, highly advanced science, the more it appears as if it is magic, or something like that. It's some, some fancy turn of phrase. Anyway, perhaps the dwarves established these halls as a means to study men in myrrh, who surely seemed as alien to them as the Dwemers seemed to us. Today, it says. <laughs> but... Hmm, that's weird that Myrrh are also seem they also seem alien to the Dwemer? Huh. Cause I would have I thought my understanding of it was that all Myrrh were descended from like some sort of primal Myrrh, right? The great ancestral Myrrh or whatever, right? And at some point, you know, evolution or whatever, people splitting up and all that stuff, they come to become different like cultures and different uh, slight variations in physiology, right? Anyway, great animunculatories can be found in many dwarven strongholds. These were the factories where the centurions and various other constructs were built. I've hoped to study these chambers for clues as to the means by which those mysterious automata are given life. But those same guardians make these especially difficult and dangerous areas to explore. Right, the Optimus Primes, indeed. All right, huh. Yeah, some very interesting insights in these books, huh? All right. I wonder when we're gonna get our big um, Dwemer-focused Elder Scrolls, if ever. Maybe they'll always be like a, a secondary or even tertiary like plot line or whatever that just continues to, like, slowly build up and create mysteries as you play all the games and shit. Maybe. Maybe they'll never end up being the focal point. I don't know. Part of me kind of wants there to be one, like a big return of the Dwemer or whatever. Something like that. Part of me wants that, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm, I think I'm cool with it also being, like I said, a secondary plotline and everything, right? It just kind of turns up whenever. It's just some of the world building. I'd be down for either. All right, cool. Well, like I said, when next we come back, we're going through those doors. Until next time, please take care of each other.